Let's get West Coast, real West Coast with it, homie. You know what I'm saying? My homie J.O. Felony, my nephew, <laughs> Snoop D-O-double-G. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. For those who didn't know, I was in San Diego for a minute. You know, Rancho Bernardo. You know, anybody from Diego out there know? Right off the five. But I never went to, like, the Chula Vista area. <laughs> that was when it really got real. When San Diego, you was really in San Diego then. You know, and San Diego's close to the border, real close to Temecula. And everybody hopped the fence. You got a lot of them fence jumpers right over there. And they play no games. <coughs> so, now oh, hush. So, getting into this, J.O. Felony versus Snoop Dogg beef. You got to go back <clears throat> to the beginning. And when I say the beginning, I mean like the beginning. The beginning of everything because this is what happens, okay? J.O. Felony is a crip from San Diego. And a lot of people misunderstand that. Like, they think, okay, well, he's a crip. So we are crip here. It's about neighborhoods sometimes. And where he's from, I think he's from where the Chola's at, from Chola View and all that stuff. So he's from up there on the southeast side. And he decides to come to LA. But this is before he, he really signed with Jam Master J. He was with Jam Master. His brother took him out on the East Coast and let uh Jam Master J him. Here when he had JMJ Records. And he was signing all these people in the early 90's. So he's been out for a minute. You know when he had P, you know your tombstone. I remember that drum joint. That was like early 90's. And Jam Master J had Onyx. And he was recruiting a lot of rappers. You know at that time. Like he was bringing out a lot of talent. And he was trying to make a major label, sort of like Def Jam was, but for the younger artists where he felt Def Jam didn't have an ear for the streets no more. So, he come out with this song, J.O. Felony did, it's called Crip Hop. Instead of Hip Hop, he called it Crip Hop. And he was talking about it in, uh, I believe, an interview he had did and he was near like LA at the time and then he uh, he went to some they had some function Snoop was there and a couple other people was there and a couple of the Crips that I knew that was from San Diego knew about the song they talked about it more than J.O. did like, man, we got this thing called Crip Hop. And then he was like, man, we going to do the, like, it's almost like Crip Walking, the dance. And they going to call it, he's like, man, what we doing is Crip Hop. So it's funny because the song Crip Hop got stolen by Snoop Dogg. Or maybe great minds think alike. Who knows? But Snoop Dogg comes out with Crip Hop and they like, what? And it was a big, big, big altercation behind that. Like, the Crips in San Diego was not happy about that whatsoever because they knew that they came up with it, but you got the Crips from L.A. who don't really mesh or honor what they were saying in San Diego. No matter what crowd, you Crips from San Diego, oh, who cares? We Crip from this set. And it became about sets and crypts over there. So John Singleton is filming the movie Baby Boy. And on the set, J.O. Felony came by himself. And he just wanted to talk to Snoop. And when he came in there, he thought because he was crypt, he was going to get it like, okay, y'all get a one-on-one -on -one to talk things out. 
they weren't honoring it. And then the East Siders and the rest of the Crips got the whooping on jail felony. And basically that was it. And sent him back. <coughs> he went back to San Diego that day. So, and then other stuff happened. I couldn't even get involved in that. So, um, basically, he went home. <laughs> um, you know, um, telling everybody what happened. Crips in San Diego, you know. I, we'll talk about what happened on Wax. Okay? Uh, because the East Side has kicked it off with F all that yapping because they've been hearing what was going on. And once that happened, uh, J.O. Felony came back with you as a character explaining the whole situation so you can hear his side of the version if you play that song. And down the road, you know, Daz got involved because Corrupt had shook the spot and him and Corrupt had fell out and then he started teaming up with Corrupt. So, you know, they had, I think a song called, I think it was The Rifleman. But that was, that was um, one of the main issues with him and Snoop. You know, it was resolved. With conversation that happened between Crips, so whatever happened behind them closed doors and all that, that ain't got nothing to do with me. And I'm done with that. Like that's as far as I know and can go on that subject. But this was some inner Crip stuff <laughs> that turned that showed the people the difference between Crip from over here and Crip from over there. Just because we all Crip, don't mean we all get along. So, in case y'all didn't know, that's how it works. It works like that in a lot of different gangs. It's all about what set you from. So, now you know. I'm out.